Come in. Hello, Hello Louise. Hi. Do you Hi. want to sit down? What can I do for you today? Um, well, I was wondering about going on the pill. Um, I, I, after some contraception, and I just um, that sounded like the best one for me, from what I've found out. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and why is it that you're needing contraception? Are you using something currently? No, I'm not in a relationship at the minute, but um, I'm going away to uni and I just want to make sure that I've got a plan. Ah, right, okay. So I understand that's quite sensible, really. Um, and what's made you think the pill would be a good idea? Um, well, I mean, I don't know much about it, but what I've heard from friends and things that are on it is that it, it helps the periods a little bit, and um, I wondered if that might be right. better for me. Yeah, it can help your periods. Have you got a bit of trouble with your periods? Well, they're a bit, they're a bit heavy, um, okay. and, and they can be quite painful. So, um, and is that throughout the period? It's usually at the beginning, just the first, the first few days, really. Okay. And does that trouble you quite a lot? Um, it does a bit. It, um, I think it would be an added bonus if it wasn't there. Right, I've got you. Yeah. Uh, and are your periods regular? Uh, yeah, yeah. Every sort of month or so. Yeah, about every yeah four weeks. Okay. And have you thought about how good you might be at remembering the pill? Um, well, I'm generally okay at things like that, but I, um, yeah, you can get an app, can't you, for your phone? I was going to put that in. You I can. Think. Yes, you can. Quite good. You can. It depends partly on what pill you go on, actually. Yeah. But certainly there are ways of trying to remind yourself. Have you heard about the long-acting methods of contraception? Do you know what I'm talking about? I've, I've heard about them a bit, but I don't really know um, what they involve. No, I've heard, I've, I've, somebody's mentioned injections. You know, Absolutely, that is one. There, there are four methods, really. There's the implant you might have heard people using, mm -hmm. the injection, um, or IUDs. They're little T-shaped devices that fit internally. Oh, right, okay. But the, the benefit of the long-acting methods is, once they're there, they're there, yeah. they work fantastically well. It means you don't have to remember to do things. Mm. Although, some of them may cause some irregularity of your bleeding. Okay. Um, so, what do you think? Do you want to have a think about that? or? Um, I think, because I don't need anything at the minute, I'd prefer to sort of see how one goes, so something that's not long-acting initially, and just see... I'll see how I get on and then maybe think about that later. Is that all right? It's perfectly fine. I think it's reasonable, certainly as you're not requiring contraception at the moment, to give it a go and actually see if it uh, if you remember it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. If we have problems, we can talk more about long-acting methods and I will give you some information yeah. to take away with you today about okay. that. Yeah. Yeah? Thanks. yeah. Okay. So, first of all, I need to assess whether you're suitable to go on the pill. Okay. All right, so what is going to involve a few questions, mm -hmm. and then I'll check your blood pressure. Yeah. But the other thing I'll do then, if you are suitable, is explain all about the pill. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid there's quite a lot to listen to today. Mm -hmm. I'll give you information just to back that up when you go. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, might I ask, do you smoke? No. Okay. Have you ever smoked? No. Okay. That's good. And can I also ask, do you suffer from migraine headaches? No, I've had the odd headache, but nothing that I've got a migraine, no. Okay. Have you ever had anything really severe that's affected your vision or anything like that when you've had a headache? No. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had hepatitis, jaundice, no. any sort of liver problems? No. And let me just have a quick look at your past history and see if there's anything there that I would worry about. No. I need to particularly ask you, do you have any history of having a blood clot or a thrombosis, it's called? No, no not that I'm aware of, no. no. Have you ever heard about anyone in your family having such a thing? No, do you mean things like D DVTs and things like that? Absolutely. Um, it is a DVT. It would happen either at the bottom of your leg or on your lungs. Not that I'm aware of, no. And thinking about your family now, is there any strong family history of having a stroke? or breast cancer that you know of? I don't think so, no. Okay. And do you take any medication? Okay. Also, do you buy any medication from the chemist or from the health food shop? Occasional bit of paracetamol, nothing, nothing really. Okay. 
just bear that in mind because there is something some people can buy called St John's Wort okay. uh, and it interacts with the pill so if you do ever go to the chemist and buy something yeah. just tell them you're on the pill and okay. double check. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Well that's fine, what I'm going to do now is just weigh you mm -hmm. and then we'll check your blood pressure and if that's okay I'll teach you all about the pill. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. Body mass index is 23, blood pressure 110 over 70. Okay, so that's all fine. Right, now I'm going to teach you about the pill. Okay. When was your last period? Uh, about two weeks ago. Okay, so the best time and the easiest time to start your pills off is with your period. Okay. So on the first day of your period, I want you to start with your first pill. Mm -hmm. Now actually it will work as a contraceptive straight away if you do that. Mm -hmm. um, but if that's not relevant at the time, it doesn't matter. But what you're going to be doing is taking a pill every day for three weeks, mm -hmm. following the arrows round on the pack, because mm -hmm. each pill has the day of the week marked on it. Right, okay. And once you've finished all of the pills off in your first pack, you then have a seven day break without taking pills at all. Mm -hmm. Then you go on to your next pack, take a pill every day for three weeks, and then exactly a seven day break then a pill every day for three weeks, then a seven day break, and okay. so on. Okay. Now just to check you're doing it right, if your first packet starts, say, on a Wednesday, mm -hmm. all of the pill packets then will restart on a Wednesday. Right. Don't ever have more than seven days off the pill either. Okay. Because if you did do that, it might stop working into your next packet. Right. And although I've told you to take your first packet with this current period that's about to come, mm -hmm. after that you should find that your periods come during each seven day break. Okay. Alright. So when I have a week off the pill, I have a period. You should okay. do. I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. But do be sure if you're still bleeding at the end of the seven day break, you must go on to your next pill packet as planned. Okay. Okay, don't wait for the period to finish. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, timing of the pill. Mm -hmm. Try and take it at the same time every day because the more accurate you are with it, the better it's going to work, both at sorting your periods out and as a contraceptive. Mm -hmm. So I always say to people, doesn't matter what time of day that you take it, just make sure it's the same time. Okay. And I often suggest to you that um, if you tend to have a lie-in at a weekend or say on holiday, don't pick first thing in the morning as your pill time. Okay. Otherwise you could sleep through and end up in a muddle. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the way to remind yourself is, yes, there is an app that you can look for on the, your iPhone if you've got one. Mm. Um, alternatively, just set a reminder on your phone, okay? Mm. And what that will do is just go off every day and say, pill time. Okay. okay. Probably a common time of day is taking it actually after your tea or your evening meal, but you have a thing and decide what suits. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, now, miss pills. Yeah. If you miss one pill, that's okay. Mm -hmm. As long as you carry on with the rest of them at the normal time and don't miss any more, that's fine. It will still work. If you miss two pills, then what you have to do is accept it won't work then for the next seven days. So use extra protection. Okay. And that means either use a condom or don't have sex. Yeah. I'm dead careful with a condom in those uh, on those occasions. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if you miss two pills in the last week of your pill taking, what might happen then is you would have a problem in the following pack. So what you would need to do is run two packs straight together at that point. So don't, don't have that break, okay. Don't have that break, okay. And actually it'll probably mean you don't get a period, or if you do it, it'll only be light. Okay. And that's fine because you don't make the period in the first place. Mm -hmm. So that's if you've got your missed pills in the last week of the pill pack. Mm -hmm. If the missed pills are in the first week of the pill pack, there may be a problem then with any unprotected sex you've had during the preceding break. Yeah. Okay. So if that ever happens to you, 
make sure you ring us or seek medical advice about that from somebody. Okay. Now, it's a bit complicated, <laughs> so just be aware. I'm going to give you this leaflet here. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Miss Pill advice that's up to date is in this leaflet. Okay. So have a look at it if you forget. Yeah. Uh, and actually always, your pill packets will come with information inside as well. So if you've lost this, have a look there. Yeah. Just so that you know as well, there is um, one thing that gets in the way of pills, and that could be if you had a tummy upset. Right. So you can imagine, can't you, if you've got diarrhoea, or if you're being sick, or something like that, you're just losing the pill through your system, so it's not going to work. Okay. Okay, so, extra protection whilst you're unwell, mm -hmm. and for a whole seven days after that as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you stick to those rules, it is a really good contraceptive, it's at least 99% good. Yeah. Okay. However, the other thing I do want you to have a little think about is it won't protect you from infections. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you've got to think about is if you do meet someone at university, you think, is there a risk of infection? And I would always recommend that you use condoms as well as the pill mm -hmm. to protect yourself from infection. Certainly at least until you and your partner have had a frank discussion about their behaviour in the past, yeah. okay? And perhaps they would want to discuss with you your behaviour in the past and even go for checkups, okay? There is a chlamydia screening programme, so once you do start to have a sex life, you can be screened by urine samples once a year, mm -hmm. or if you change your partner, within a month of that change. Right. So if you're at uni, I'm sure there'll be plenty of places to be screened. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, side effects. People always ask me, how am I gonna feel on the pill? And actually, in the main, people feel perfectly fine on the pill. I'm sure you won't feel any different. But there are one or two little bits and bobs I want to point out to you. Um, Weight is something people often ask me about. They mm. worry and read that the pill is going to put weight on. Yeah, I've heard that. Had you? Mm. Yeah, lots of people think the pill is going to put weight on. It doesn't usually in itself do that at all. All right, oh, that's good. In fact, the only hormonal method that we really know is associated with weight gain can be the injection, actually. Uh, but what can happen when you're on the pill is sometimes you get a little bit hungrier. So you eat a bit more and then put weight on. So if you watch what you do and if you're aware of that, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other thing I've told you is you should get your periods during each week off the pill. However, at first that may not happen. And sometimes, particularly in the first three months of taking the pill, you can get very irregular bleeding throughout your cycle and throughout the pill taking really. If it happens, please don't worry about it. It's not harmful, mm -hmm. okay? And in the end, the pill will sort it out and you will get those nice okay. regular bleeds. But if you go and stop the pill because you're worried about it, well, you'll just have to go through that whole thing again yeah. on restarting. Okay. And actually, whilst we're talking about periods, the nice thing about the pill is you can, from time to time, manipulate when you period is going to come. So if you work out, ah, I'll be on my break whilst I'm on holiday and your period should come at that point, what you can do is simply run two packs together and avoid your period okay. by doing so. Oh, that's handy to know. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Loads of people love it for that. And then if you actually carry on until the end of that packet, just have a normal seven day break there and that's when you'll get your period. Other things, uh, headaches, you said from time to time you used to get the odd headache. Uh, you can get niggly headaches with the pill, but if you get anything really awful or horrible, like a sort of migraine type of headache, something severe, mm -hmm. do come and tell us about that and we'll discuss what to do. Mm -hmm. And other niggly, hormony sort of side effects with the pill can be things like sore breasts or feeling a bit sick or a bit bloated or a bit moody, sometimes people say, or occasionally some change in your skin. Okay. They're usually teething troubles, and they generally settle down after your first three packs or so, but let me know if it 
it's troublesome. So carry them on if it happens and then carry it on and yeah. then come and see you. Yeah, as long as you can tolerate it, it should settle down. Okay. Final thing to talk about are the risks of being on the pill. Okay. Now at the age of 19, you're very young, so your risk of most of the things I'm going to talk about is absolutely tiny. Mm -hmm. But the first thing to say is you are at slight increased risk of a DVT that we were mentioning yeah. before. Okay. Um, so anybody on the pill runs probably two or three in 10,000 risk right. of a DVT. So it's very unusual, but it is there and you need to be aware of that. Okay. A DVT, by the way, would cause you pain either at the bottom of your leg, normally quite severe with swelling or quite severe chest pain. So come and see us if you have any problems like that. Yeah. The other things you're slightly at increased risk of would be having a stroke, cancer of the breast, or cancer of the cervix. Okay, they're quite scary. They are, aren't they? Mm. Now I've pointed out at the age of 19 that your risk of those three scary things mm. is absolutely minute. And all we're talking about is a slight increase in the risk of those things, okay? okay? So it doesn't make it into a big, big problem. Right. But what I will do is give you some more detailed information so that you can actually have a little look mm -hmm. at the numbers and figures and make sure that that's acceptable to you. Okay. Okay? And it's written out very nicely with diagrams, so I think you'll understand that quite nicely. Okay, yeah. If you want to discuss it more, come back. Yeah. But the other thing to say is there are benefits of being on the pill as well. And actually, you're at slightly less risk of having cancer of the ovary, cancer of the lining of the womb, and cancer of the colon as well. So in some areas you gain, in other areas you lose. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then, of course, the other benefits for you are, well, it should be a good contraceptive if you're good at taking it, and your period should be much easier, yeah. and also you can actually postpone them if needs be. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is a prescription now for three months of the pill for you. Yeah. Okay. We do that really just to double check you're okay, yeah. um, but I've given you all the information you need today, so mm -hmm. when you return, if you're happy with the pill, Make sure the receptionists know it's for a pill check yeah. and they can book you in with nurse and she'll be able to give you a year's supply beyond that. All right, okay, that's good. If there are any problems though, would you come back to me yeah. and then we'll discuss it and decide where we go from there. Mm. And I'll also give you the leaflet about long-acting methods just to keep you up to date so that you know what they are yeah. and at any point come back if you want to consider those. I've got a couple of weeks before my next period where I can have a read through anyway, so yeah, okay. Now the final thing is, I will give you some condoms. I know you want to be prepared, but it would be sensible to have them now. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as I say, condom use at first, if it's if it's okay with you. Yeah, so no, that's so good, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, thank you very much. All right, it's an absolute pleasure. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.